how much has Taco helped you since he's been out and, and mentored you with that position? I tell you what, Taco, he's he's been really cool about this whole transition, and it's tough. I've been on the on the end where you're you're hurt and you, you know you can't go, and you watch somebody else go in and and not obviously not take your position, but play that role. And I think he's been he's been encouraging from the beginning, and. It's been interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not proud, but it, it's definitely it, it's cool to call him, you know, my teammate when he's he's so cool about this whole thing. And I'm, I'm lucky to have someone like that that can that can come in and not take like a jealous approach, or but rather an encouraging approach and, and help me learn where you know I need to learn. How important were he and you know Wormley and some of the older guys in helping you transition to that position? I mean, they were. They were vital. They can't, I couldn't have done anything I'm doing without them. And even on the field, like before the game, uh, Ryan Glasgow, like he was really embraced this whole thing. He came up to me and he like he grabbed me. He's like, all right, after I'm done here, we're gonna get a nice headbutt. But first, he's like, he's like, I'm your nose. You're my end. Nobody runs to our side. And I mean, he just he said that probably five times in a row. He's he's pretty pretty adamant about that. I was like. I agree, man. We're nobody runs our side. We were we were amped up, and, and then we got the headbutt. But they're they're awesome. So it, it's been such an adventure, like going along with them and learning every day, and and just knowing that I could relate. Like they go through a lot of the same stuff I do with Coach Madison and and the process of, of self development. Have you seen any film in Colorado yet? I've watched some film on Colorado. And there is, I don't know if any of you guys are Indiana Jones fans out there, but we sip from a humble cup and we're not, we're not sipping from, you know, it's the last crusade is the one I'm referencing where he sips from the, uh, the gold cup and he goes, this is the, the cup for kings of king or a king of kings. And then he, you know, he dies, but um, we're sipping from the cup that, the, you know, the humble cup and we're not getting ahead of ourselves and, and looking over anybody. Colorado is a great football team. They present a lot of threats to us, and we're just looking to go out there and improve and from the mistakes we made last week and get better. You were talking about that relationship with Ryan Glasgow on the field. Did you find out early enough in the week that you were going to be starting to kind of prepare yourself for working with you know specific players like that? We've been rotating and working together for so long that it really didn't, you know, I don't think people really get it, you know, can understand. Like, it's like, from the outside perspective, it's like, oh, you're starting. But really, ever since Christmas, really, I, I've been preparing for this moment. So, you know, when it did happen, in my mind, it was, it was almost seamless. It wasn't like, you know, oh, I'm working with Ryan where we've been rotating and, and playing together for a while now. So it, it seems seamless to me. It, it, with their help and their guidance and, and their embracement of me, it, it made it really natural. You think you'll be starting again on Saturday? I anticipate starting, and I, I watched film with Coach Madison already, and they seem pretty positive about my performance, which is a good sign because he usually is more critical. But that doesn't mean anything. There's some stuff I need to improve. And, and if he names the starter, and then I go out. If he doesn't, it doesn't change anything for me. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing I, I always do. If I get out on the field, I'm going to give 100% every single play and try to be as assignment perfect as I can to help the person next to me.